Want to know how 600 square feet can make you six figures in one year? That's right, I'm not kidding guys. This little 600 square foot tiny home that we are actually standing in, in Galveston, Texas, brings in six figures a year. This tiny Airbnb was perfect, making six figures a year. What first started as a project for Jose and I to teach our kids how to invest in real estate and make money while doing it, we decided to buy a piece of land in Galveston, Texas for $150,000 where we were able to subdivide it into four lots and now we are building eight tiny homes. If we can do it, you can do it. And in this video, we're going to tell you how. So Jose and I got started in tiny homes by accident. Actually, not really an accident. One of our agents here at Nan & Company Properties in Houston, Texas, or I should say Galveston, she was building and selling tiny homes. So she calls me one day, she's like, hey, whenever you're in Galveston, you should come check out our development. So Jose and I and the kids get in the car, we go to Galveston, we look at her tiny homes and fall in love with them. These were such cute homes. They were furnished, they were just adorable. Like who did not want to live in one of these? And they were so freaking cozy that we decided to buy one. And and we did it for our kids. So the kids wanted to learn how to Airbnb. Everyone on YouTube is just talking about what Airbnb means and how you can make money. So I said, listen, if you wanna learn how to Airbnb, I'm going to teach you. We're buying a house and we're going to Airbnb it. And that's how we got started with tiny homes in Galveston and Airbnb. The 600 square foot tiny home in Galveston, Texas is two bedroom, two bath with the kitchen and a living room. Don't believe me? Let me show you. It is so adorable. So for Jose and I, it's really important to teach the kids life lessons, right? Things they're not gonna learn in school. In school, they're not gonna learn how to Airbnb properties. They're not gonna learn how to start businesses. So that's something that I always wanna teach them. So for us, it's really important for them to learn these basic business lessons and starting an Airbnb, not even starting, right? Putting your property on Airbnb, some people think it's easy, it's not. There is, in order for it to be successful, you have to follow certain steps, you have to do certain things. And if anyone was gonna teach them, it was going to be me and I wanted to make sure that they understood how to Airbnb a property the right way. So not only does this incredible tiny home have amazing indoor AC space to sleep, to cook, to hang out, or watch TV, it also has an outdoor entertainment space with the cowboy pool that is a must when staying in these homes. Let's go look at it. Birthday parties, girls weekend getaway, or guys, bachelorette party. This is the perfect entertainment space when looking for an Airbnb. Look at this, cowboy pool, you have a swing sitting area, and you still have plenty of space in the backyard. So everything is not peaches and cream with Airbnbs. We've had people come in that have damaged our property. That's part of being a business owner. You have to deal with the positive, but you have to deal with the negative. We haven't had a lot of those situations, knock on wood, but we've been blessed, and this is in wood, so I need to go find wood. But we've been blessed that we've only had a few situations where people will come and yes, they'll throw some parties, they'll make a mess. But again, you have to make sure that you use partners like Airbnb where you can go on there and log if you had any issues and they will actually help get money for the damages. So you do need to have some money saved so you're prepared for those situations as well. Now, for those of you that are watching thinking, how do I become successful at Airbnb? My top three tips to be successful in Airbnb are the following. Number one is going to be area. 
the area, the location, making sure that it's an area where people want to stay in Airbnbs. The reason we chose Galveston is because it's beach town, right? There's so many different activities going on through the year. People are always coming to Galveston. So it's the perfect area for us. Number two, your team. And that is your cleaning crew. Make sure they are reliable. Your contractors, plumbers, electricians, make sure that you have really good ones and reliable ones that when something happens at midnight, they'll be there the next day to fix it. A property manager is really important to have if you're planning to really grow this business. For me, I own a real estate company. I own an insurance agency. I own other businesses, so I can't physically manage the property. So we have a great property manager and she manages the property for us, takes the phone calls, complaints, compliments, and it all works out. And yes, this person does make a percentage of the Airbnb, but if it's a good property and you're marketing correctly, everybody makes money. And number three, professional photos, no iPhone pics. Invest the money in getting professional photos so your property stands out from all other properties on Airbnb. This is what a final product looks like, a completed tiny home. Now I'm gonna take you guys to go look at a project that is currently under construction so you can see where it all begins. and now we are here this is the project that i was telling you guys about because our 600 square feet is so amazing and we're making six figures a year from it these eight homes behind me will be for sale it'll be four lots two homes on each lot one house will be 400 square feet and the other will be 700 let's go take a look so one thing that we learned about our first airbnb tiny home was how much we enjoy doing it honestly it has been a great experience. It's a great property. It's different. I'm all about different types of properties and these tiny homes are just one of a kind. So we are representing a builder out in Galveston that is currently building eight tiny homes. But what's different about this project is that on one lot, you get two homes, one for 400 square feet and the other one for 750 plus square feet, which is awesome. So as an investor, as an Airbnb host, you can come in and you will have two properties on one lot, which means two income producing properties. And it doesn't get better than that. And I'm so excited to give you guys a tour. They are under construction, but when they are done, each home will be very different, different as in different themes, color palette. They will be completely furnished and I cannot wait to show you guys the finished product. Okay, we did it. We're in here. This is the inside of the home. It's a construction site, don't judge it. But this one will be 700 square feet and I cannot wait to see what it'll look like completed. Look at how cute these arches look. Yeah, so these are, this will be a two bedroom, closet, bath, and then living downstairs. Perfect. Who doesn't wanna live here? This will be two homes on one lot. Then you will have, once the containers move, you will have another two homes here. We gotta cut that grass. And then two to the left and two to the right. So these two homes will be flipped on these three lots. So obviously there's so many more things that I could talk about for a much longer time. Stay tuned for the next video, should be coming up in the next weeks, on how I tell you how to exactly run a successful Airbnb. This isn't my only Airbnb. I did forget to mention that. We also have our ranch that we Airbnb. I've talked about it before, but I will go into detail on step one through step 100. And I'm just kidding. There's not 100 steps on how to run a successful Airbnb. All right, guys, that's a wrap. Tiny home community coming soon. If you're interested in purchasing one, send us a message. These will all be for sale and they make great income producing properties. As I mentioned before, I know because I own one, 
Bought it for my kids, best investment of my life. Make sure to invest in real estate. All right guys, that's a wrap. Make sure to subscribe, like, and comment below. See you guys next time.